Hello everyone, Studious Toe here. Welcome back to the Bagel Nation. Today we are going to be continuing our playthrough of the Cities colon Skylines. I am much more rested than previously, so hopefully this will go a little more smoothly. Last time we built all of this, uh, ended with this handy dandy little interchange. Not too bad. Could be could be smoothed out a little bit could be uh, made a little better, but it functions, at least for our current needs. So all in all, pretty happy with what we have going so far. So now it's time to keep expanding, keep working on our city. So the first thing I noticed, obviously, is, or not obviously, I don't know. Uh, depends on your perspective, I suppose. But I noticed that we have very high demand for industry or offices so let's hmm this could be a tricky because i would like to keep continue i would like to continue expanding in this area but we'll have to move this fire station if we want to upgrade this to a two-lane road we don't necessarily need it to be a two-lane road but it would be helpful we might just leave that particular road as a one lane just kind of be painful and if we need to move that later we'll get over it so do like that and we'll deal with that. Okay. These, okay. I'm going to just add, hopefully this will work. Does that connect us? No, that does not connect us. Come on. I'd like to get rid of this set of power lines here. Can that connect us? Come on. Really? Wait, oh, no. Okay, we'll use up some of our valuable space over here to connect and get most of our money back for, for these power lines over here. So we need to give some people some industry, give them some jobs, and soon we'll probably consider expanding. I don't know which direction we'll expand in, though. We can expand in any of these four adjacent squares. For now, though, we're just going to create another row. Another... Oh another little area for some industry. We've got very high demand, so we'll just fill in all of that and fill in all of this here. Make sure they have water. Oh, that'll be fine. And that'll be good for us, okay. Do they still not have power? Okay, they have power. Um, we will need to be, okay, good. So we, un we unlocked our advanced wind turbines. So let's see if there's a good place. We don't really have a good place for these, do we actually? So advanced turbines work on the water. They can give you up to 20 megawatts. Um, they're twice as expensive as your regular wind turbines, but actually they will be less cost effective currently because see here they would be great, but apparently we don't have much wind along our water. Um, out here, they'd be great, but we don't have property out there. Um, so I guess we're going to be stuck with regular wind turbines unless we, we might end up using a coal power plant at some point. Um, yeah, just we don't have the best... We're not in the best situation as far as advanced wind turbines are concerned. So we will speed up the game, get it going, and watch as our industry sprouts up. Now I can see our rising demand for commercial areas. So we might wanna go ahead and just make like a whole industrial, or uh, a whole commercial district. I'm gonna go ahead and add this whole thing to the neighborhood. Uh, we can kind of think of these as just local stores, these uh, along the main road here. But we'll probably want to have a bit more uh, commercial, maybe just have an entire uh, district devoted to commercial space. So, oh, and it looks like we still have pretty high industrial demand. We filled all of that out, so we'll go ahead and just uh, finish in this area. Try not to oversaturate, because then you get uh, businesses leaving, you get empty buildings, um, and no one wants that. My guess is that I'll want to just expand this way, that the tile we buy will end up being this one. 
I don't really want to spend the money right now, but my guess is we'll come out here with the freeway, kind of extend in this direction. Maybe, um, well, this little hill mountain thing might be a bit of a an issue for us expanding that way, but we might want to come around and then connect somewhere over here, I'm thinking. And eventually we might have a, uh, a small, an, another highway connect like that. I'm just thinking grand scheme. I will not hold myself to any notions of that sort. So the question is, where do we want to make a new retail area? We have a high demand for everything now, or at least medium. Is that considered high? That's considered medium. So we might want to make, just let this continue being, hmm. Because we're kind of, we're using all our space up in our corners. Oh, do we need to give some people some water? Uh, we'll just go ahead and expand our pipe system. A little bit like that. Okay, everybody should have good water. Um, wow, they still want the industry. We'll keep adding, but I'm thinking we might end up expanding this direction. Because that's the path of least resistance we could just keep adding onto our grid that we've already got going i noticed in the last video when putting it all together that i talked about wanting to use this for farmland or forestry uh, which ultimately completely forgot about um, we can see our natural resources this is uh all would be good foresting area um, fertile land, actually, if we want to, we still have a pretty low population. It wouldn't be that weird if we started farming. Um, you know what, let's, for now, let's designate some areas for, uh, farmland over here somewhere. And we'll designate some area for commercial, maybe along this way, I'm thinking, like, kind of along the highway, the vision of, of the highway that'll come, something like that. So hopefully my grand vision for our society isn't uh, too grandiose and far-fetched for you to see with me. Um, so just going to add a few rows to our grid over here. Won't even completely fill it out, but we'll come out two units. Oh, I went one too far there, but do the same thing over here. And we actually, let's see, that'll come out like that. Let's go actually one unit further and make this a two lane road. There we go. I think that's what we'll want. And then we'll have this cut across here. It'll meet up somewhere over here, but that'll just be another connection. So people aren't having to go through the massive interchange to get from here to here. Once we make all this houses and stuff build around our high school. Next, we'll probably want to, let's see, let's, let's go back to that view of our natural resources. So this kind of in here, this is where we'll want to have some farmland. So, Hmm. Trying to decide what I want to do. Maybe we could make this kind of a retail area, make a couple streets worth of retail space. I'm thinking. Oh, I meant to make these two lanes. I just realized that I was making three lane roads. That's fine. And then... We'll fill in the rest of this with houses. Uh, we'll go ahead and make another row and we'll probably end up making a new neighborhood once it's time to. And yeah, we'll just make all of this three lanes since I've already done that. We'll make that a two lane road, kind of a through road. Um, maybe we should make that a two lane road as well. Not entirely certain. I'm making this up as I go, obviously. Or maybe not, obviously. Maybe you think I have a big plan and I've planned every single move I was planning to make this entire playthrough. So we might come out like kind of this general area. Let's go ahead and just designate a space. Let's just, uh, can we not? Okay, 
that's not how that works. So just kind of, wait, no, we want farming. We're going to start farming. I realize I didn't need to erase that at all, but so for now, Evergreen Heights is going to be kind of our farm zone. Let's look at the way, okay, we'll just try and take up about this much space, I'm thinking with farmland. And just for the heck of it, we're gonna use my two lane gravel roads, um, which I've never really used. So we'll just, um, we'll lay out the skeleton for the rest of this grid over here. Probably this road will connect across and maybe have another interchange there. Not completely sure. And we're also running very low on money, so we should, we should probably resume time to get some taxes. But I think we'll kind of get this main road coming through here and just set up a grid for farming. Kind of on this side of the road. So we'll just leave this here and ready and set up some gravel roads for farmers. Is that? No two over. So there we go. And we'll let them have some isolation. They'll turn off onto this road. And because I like grids, we'll continue making this all in a grid. And how are we looking? Is that all in fertile land? That's pretty good uses of fertile land. We actually really should make the grid more kind of this direction, but because I'm being weird and keeping it all perpendicular with my original grid, we'll just leave it like this. Let's get some water over here. Now, farmland is going to use a bunch of water. Can we maybe like there? Um, well, we don't have to water the road, so that'll work. That'll give us um, that should work. We'll probably have to add some more uh, water plants soon, but for now, we're gonna designate this area. If we, did we, okay, we already designated this a farming area. And we'll actually get rid of just this up here in case we decide to use it for something else. And designate this as industrial area. All of this in here. Well, um, hopefully that'll be good. That'll give us some farming jobs. And we can see farms already spreading up. Now I've already forgotten one major thing, which is electricity. So we'll have to connect them the quickest way. This is closer. Um, we'll just connect this direction and worry about the power lines later. Because these guys need, need, they need some, some power. They need them some power. And okay. Now we've got a fair amount of jobs designated now. Are these, I guess these are the European style farms. I haven't really seen these. I like the sound though. That's a nice touch. <clears throat> we'll come back there pretty soon, but right now that's not our highest demand. And we're just gonna kinda, we could, eh, let's not overdo it. Let's just kinda establish this stretch right here. All of this is gonna be commercial. Do we have to, okay, we do, okay, I'm gonna get rid of, just some of this in here so that we can fill that in completely. It's not an awkward space. Once we've got power extending where we want it, I just am gonna, I want things to be nice like that. Now, one pretty big problem we have right now, you'll see all of these uh, industry, these trucks are coming out to our, our uh, farms out here. And they're having to come a long way. They don't have direct access to the highway. So I'm thinking, hmm, what is the best way to deal with that? Just kind of get our water grid going. Um, they're going to need access to the highway, and they're not going to be wanting to go. We don't want them going through our neighborhood. So... Let's just go ahead and start expanding the freeway. I think we're gonna wanna go mostly straight, kinda come around this mountain, I'm thinking. So, how expensive will this be? Kinda like that, it's a lot of money, but we're gonna give them just a simple, uh, a simple ramp to the highway. We need to reverse the direction of this side. Oh, oh. Okay, everything's going the right direction. 
So, now, disadvantage of these nice little gravel roads. Um, ooh, they need a fire department down here. Do we even have enough money to build one? We're going to take out a loan. Okay, we're getting very dependent on our loans right now, so we're going to need to slow down development pretty soon once we get our highway going. But we're going to give them a fire department out here. Should be good. Do they have water? Yeah, they have water. And we're just going to build a simple interchange. Um, we said this was the road we wanted to. That's the road that we'll build on. So they'll come up from this area, and instead of going through this giant, through our entirely residential area, this is what they'll do. So, now we'll get one ramp on, one ramp off, and let's just make this all, we'll make this all a single ramp, which this ramp won't be used for a while until we have this highway connecting to something in that direction. And we're going to want to redo that to make that less ugly. That's less ugly. And something I like to do, I like to have the exit before the on-ramp. If that makes sense, this exit. I want to have this, the on-ramp. I want to have the exit before it so that traffic doesn't pile up. I don't know how much that really is going to affect things in-game, but it's kind of just something I like to do, kind of my design philosophy. And we'll see. Can we kind of sneak in here, maybe? Uh, looks kind of janky, but we'll get over that. So now, instead of going all the way through our residential area, these guys will just take our, our highway right here. And for now, that's going to be okay, since there's nothing, there's no other traffic in this area, but this may end up being a problem later. I'm thinking what we might do... Oh, we are already abandoning our farms. Now, what is wrong with... They don't have enough workers. Hmm. We don't have that, that high demand for housing, but... I suppose we'll just go ahead and add another layer of houses to our pre-existing grid. Now, since this is going to be kind of our trash area, we probably also want to get another landfill just getting ready. But we're going to add our own little, for now, this might not be the best design idea. We're going to give them direct access to the highway so that they can easily get over here and get over here. They don't have to go through town to get there. So, I'm going to, for now, hmm, can we, hmm, trying to decide what the best way to do this is. First things first, could have built an on-ramp to go that way. And we need an off-ramp from here. Now this is getting a little more complicated than I probably, I probably should just make more, an interchange more like that. But we're gonna get an off-ramp right about here. Here, maybe? Can we get, can we sneak that in? Can we Hmm. Where's the exit? Okay, that exit's going there. So... Okay, might be overkilling this. Sometimes, when you can't make everything work the way you want it to, you say, uh, you blow up everything. So, there we go. We'll have that like that. We'll have this, and this will split once we get on the other side of the road, or maybe in the middle. It'll split this way. People... And get from there to there. And we'll also have an off-ramp here. 
that lets people could have them join like that, but we'll have them kind of come over here. Join like that. We're going to revise all of this as we go. So now we can get every, well, now if we're coming from here, there are three directions we can go. One, two, and three. Now let's take care of this. We need to be able to get off and go that way and get off and go this way. So that's the easy. Um, this is a very messy interchange, poorly conceived. I'm gonna come up here like that. I like that. Should make that all look like it belongs together. Um, so now we can turn right. Now we need to be able to turn left. Um, This is not a very smart interchange. I will freely admit to that. This is poorly conceived. Kind of come down. But now the, the garbage trucks can get from here to town pretty easily. They may still prefer to take that route through, through the industry, but whatever. And we also need to be able to get from here to there. Now, technically, no one can get from, hmm. This is much more complicated than it needed to be. I will own up to that. Just, hmm. This is very poorly designed. You know what? As much as I sort of like a few elements of this, we're gonna blow it all up. Why? I'll tell you when I come up with a legitimate reason. Okay. So our grid, oh shoot, we need to start following the ocean or the river. We're gonna worry about that later. Good thing about this game, you just keep going until you get it right. So we're just gonna designate all of this here. This is gonna kind of be our landfill area. Oh, we've got our power. That's gonna be an issue. Um, making it up as I go. Okay, so from here, that I believe is what our goal should be. Okay. Okay, we're gonna leave a lot of space here because eventually this interchange probably won't do, but we're gonna build a very simple interchange that is not necessarily a good interchange, but it is simple. Mm, it's kinda ugly. Okay, so we're going to build four ramps. And both directions of traffic are going to share them. For the four directions that a car might choose to travel. This is a very common, at least where I am, very common type of intersection. It's not very pretty, not executed that well, but it does the job. Makes it where people in the farming district have direct access to our highway. People in the garbage can get over here very quickly. You can get over here more easily than having to go all through town. And wow, these people really like to park on the street. But I'm really, we'll go into free camera mode for a minute. I'm really digging the way this looks. Just, uh, I don't know, something about it. Very San Francisco-esque, maybe. I don't know. But we'll come out of free camera mode and let's see, what else do we need? We need some more industry. Let's add some more farming. I like the idea of farming. We're talking about being like San Francisco and that, that region of the country is known for its locavorism. People who choose to eat local foods to prefer them. Um, 
you know, this town is going to be kind of messy. How are we? We can come out about here. I'm putting my finger on the screen, so I... Oh, and then I messed it up. About there. That's where I'm putting my finger on the screen. Try not to mess it up this time. Hmm. We may convert our grid to be in this direction, which would match the rest of our city anyway, but... Does that put us mostly in... That's all in fertile land. Okay, so this is this is not well executed. I will freely admit to that. And yeah, we might have some traffic problems there, but for now, it's going to do. It's going to do just fine. We probably won't. We'll probably get rid of these farms at some point, honestly. Once our city gets bigger, or this will just be an older area of the city that no one uses. And we really didn't even need to make all these new roads because I just saw, like, we have plenty of unused space along our existing roads, but we have a high industrial demand. We'll just go ahead and kind of add every, everything in there like that. Okay. Um, should we extend this? We're going to extend the road. We're going to extend the road. All the way down. Oh, that's going to destroy a new... Wait, no, that doesn't destroy a new business. All right, so we're doing good there. Um, once that all takes effect, we should have some good jobs. And we've got existing space, which will be good for our, our, that sounded weird, for our, some additions to our retail area. And we're going to build on this side of the road so we can get rid of some of these power lines. That should be a good addition to our retail. And now we really need to think about where we're going to be expanding, uh, particularly in terms of where we're expanding for our residential areas. We could keep expanding this direction. That might make sense. Although I would like to just get this highway connected. But where do we put the houses? We could put them on the other side of the river. That's expensive because we have to build bridges and stuff. Um... If we expand this direction, we can easily ex expand our large growing neighborhood and expand our two main roads, our two through roads, to the highway, giving us more outside access. I think I'm talking myself into expanding this direction. I'm going to do it before I overthink it. Um, recording for about 30 minutes. We're getting there. Getting close. So we'll probably kind of expand our neighborhood, and that'll probably be the end of the video. I'm thinking. But don't hold me to that. Mostly because you can't, but, you know, because this is a YouTube video. That works. Get everybody the water they need. Um, let's go ahead and build just our some our next water stations. I think that's a good idea. And those, do those both automatically? Yes, they both attach to the pipes. There we go. They're powered. We're good. So that'll help us for a little while. And let's go ahead and work on the interchanges that we're going to have. So we're going to have a lot of traffic coming through this way. We're going to want to expand this, probably make this entire road a three-lane road. Um, as you can see, we want to have as few interchanges as possible coming this way. Or in, as few, uh, not interchanges, as few intersections. Uh, because there are going to be people coming from here, from our industrial area, and they'll want to get to this highway over here. Now, eventually, they might choose to take this highway and go that direction, since that's where that highway heads. But uh, we're not going to think too much about that for now. We're going to connect. First things first, we're going to connect our main road here to the highway. And just leave a little a bit of a skeleton for what will be the grid. And I think after that, I think this will be our last road and then we'll just have an interchange. Eventually we may make an interchange more like this, but for now we're gonna make an interchange more like, well, actually like nothing we've seen so far. Um, I think that's a good, we're just gonna kind of wing it. Make it a very large interchange. I don't usually give myself this much space to make uh, highway, on ramps, off ramps, all of the above. Let's 
see about that. Kind of get it curving in. So I think I said previously, I do like to make mostly custom interchanges. It's kind of just how I like to play. Um, you can certainly play more quickly, more efficiently, probably more uh, better with your money if you don't do stuff like this. Now, see, these are... Let's just see. Probably, if we see any trucks coming through, like this truck, where are we going? Uh, they're not leaving town. They're going to Organic Foods. Where is that? Okay, th that's a store right here. Ice Cube Factory. But yeah, we'd follow stuff around. We're probably going to be seeing a lot of industry just coming through because we have a new, uh, new way to get into town. And now we want to be building some more houses. We'll probably keep at having this as retail space. Um, but for now, we want to kind of just get our skeleton going. Keep our grid. Did I, I messed that up. Get all of this going. And build a bunch of houses. I feel like this city, I'm kind of, I might be keeping too much of an eye to the future. Um, kind of leaving, planning too far ahead. And as demonstrated particularly effectively by the fact that we have two loans out and we are still pretty low on cash. At the moment, I'm just, I'm, I'm trucking on ahead. I'm trying to think too far in the future. Oh, oh, that's on D zone. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll designate all of this. That's the same neighborhood, same district. Um, Hunger Games reference, I guess. District 9, something. District 13, District 12. Hunger Games. I think I've seen all of the movies that are out, and I kind of wish I hadn't seen most of them, but... The last one especially, that was, that was awful, right? Anyway, like, I didn't, anyway, uh, this is not a uh, YouTube channel for, this is not a YouTube channel, no, this is not a YouTube channel for critiquing films as much as I would like to bash the Hunger Games because it's easy to bash them because they're popular and dumb. Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm. Too distracted thinking about the Hunger Games now. <clears throat> okay. Well, unless I find something particularly pressing in the next few moments, I think we're going to end this video very soon. Um, let's just kind of get our, our... We have no demand for industry. We're going to dezone some of our unused industrial space. Nice. Um, just so that we can keep demand rising. Um, we've got demand for houses and retail, so we're going to meet that demand. <clears throat> Excuse me. going to meet that demand. With some more houses and some more retail. Let's expand here. We'll expand. We're going to give like one little shop here so we can get more rid of more of our power lines. Hurry up. Build. Build a bear. Workshop. There we go. Get rid of this power line. So if this business goes out of business, that will be a problem. Um, but I think unless we slouch into some urgent matter pretty quickly here build over here to help solidify that just in case something goes out of business but yeah i think we're about to wrap things up is what i've sort of been saying for the last few minutes we'll expand here later again grids are kind of boring maybe some of our new areas will be a little less gritty um but i think that's gonna wrap things up for this video so on behalf of everyone here at the Bagel Nation, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like. It really helps me, I think. 
That's what people, that's what other YouTubers say. I mean, it makes me feel good. I'll say that much. I don't know if it actually helps me like with YouTube, but, um, anyway, thanks you for watching. Leave a like comment. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything you want to chat about, I will probably respond if I'm being a good YouTuber and subscribe to see more videos from this series or from games like GeoGuessr, this war of mine, any of my upcoming content. Um, I've been talking for like six months about a Dark Souls project that I have coming up uh, that I still need to finish and like do most of the work on. But anyway, thank you for watching. I've gone on too long. Uh, enjoy your stay here in the Bagel Nation.